it's dinner time for Beatrix, right? And like, we transitioned Beatrix to a raw diet at the beginning of the pandemic. So it's almost been a year that she's been eating raw. I had so much apprehension. You know, when you are so familiar with one thing, feeding your dog kibble, it becomes a norm, right? So I was scared to transition to, to raw diet. But check this out. I was reading an article the other day and it said that kibble is killing your dogs. It's shaving off their life expectancy. Dogs that used to live for 30 years, only living for like 15 years now. So we feed our dog raw. So I wanted to take y'all through the steps of how we feed her raw. If you're thinking about transitioning your dog to a raw diet, don't fret, don't be scared, just do it. Jump off that ledge and do it. You'll reap the benefits and your favorite loving pet friend will live longer, okay? Hey, 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 chill out. This is Beatrix, she's our family dog. She's about five years old. She was named after the famed assassin and Kill Bill. Beatrix Kiddo. Here. So let's look at what I feed my dog every day. What I feed my dog twice a week, she has to have pink salmon, right? So I get this because this is really convenient. I used to give her salmon like this but I eat this, so I figured that I shouldn't be giving my dog something that I eat. Two to three times a week, fish. She eats raw chicken, okay? So what we do is we go in with the sweet potato and it's already been boiled. You just take off the casing, drop the sweet potato into the bowl. Um, she used to be fat. One of the biggest benefits about feeding your dog raw is the fact that they don't drink a lot of water because raw food is very high in water, especially raw chicken. So we give her this whole sweet potato. You wanna make sure that you feed your dog 3% of their body weight. So then we're gonna go in with some spinach, just a few spinach leaves. Like she acts crazy about spinach. Sometimes like she'll eat around the spinach and leave it in the bottom of the bowl. And then we got these nice drumsticks. We're just gonna pop those on there like that. Lastly, y'all, I just go in with about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Like if you have spirulina, you could put some spirulina on there. So a little bit of nutritional yeast, and that's it. That's her food. She's eating really healthy, and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when she smashes this, all right? So stay tuned. <laughs> I read this article the other day and it was talking about kibble. If you all don't know what kibble is, kibble is bad dog food. The article, and I can't find the article, I'm so pissed off, I look for it all day, I can't find it. Maybe one of y'all out there who, who are watching this video, you can help me find the article. I read the news all the time, every platform, so I don't know which platform I even seen the article in, I don't even remember the title. But anyway, I read it thoroughly and the article was saying that dog food kibble is producing toxins. So it doesn't show in the ingredients. Like if you go and you look at the ingredients of what's in your dog's food, the toxins are not showing up because they're not produced until after the dog food is already cooked, right? So feeding your dog bad dog food is not good. And of course, the vet is not gonna tell you, go feed your dog raw chicken. And most people are scared of it. My cousin, I just told him, he just got a bully. Asked me what to feed the dog, I said feed him raw. Start him from a puppy. Beatrix is five, she just started last year, so she was four. Imagine how good she would look if we started early. Stop feeding your dog's kibble, make the jump to a raw diet. It's so cool, you can get a pack of drumsticks for $7. 
and then you pack everything. You meal prep for your dogs. Get you some gallon storage bags, Ziploc, and boil a sweet potato, throw it in there, throw two pieces of chicken in there, throw some spinach in there, you know what I'm saying? Throw the canned food in there, the canned salmon, and freeze it. And then every day you feed your dog, defrost it, throw it in a bowl, and feed your dog. It's so great. Dogs start to stink less, their teeth get cleaner, their poop evaporates, like literally it turns to dust. People, it's the best thing. But we're about to show you right now what it's like when she eats this food. So hold on, let me go get her. Will you eat this? Here, eat the spinach. Here, eat this. Eat this. She won't eat spinach. Savage. See how she, people always say, they try to trick you and say your dog can't eat chicken bones. Chicken bones will choke your dog. That's a lie. Don't believe the hype. Put your dog on a raw diet. The one last benefit that I meant to tell y'all about, well, I already told y'all about it. They drink less water. She's not even going to touch this water like that. See, she eats the spinach when it's covered in something else. You want another piece here? Oh! She ain't even spit it out. Yes, she did. Look, she spit it back out. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you throw a like on it. Subscribe for the good vibes as always. Share and comment below. Let me know if you're open to starting to feed your dog a raw diet or if you're scared like I was. Jump off that poach. All right, I love y'all. I'll see y'all on the next video. It's gone, baby. It's gone. Good girl, say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye, 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 bye. Come on, let's go.